Hello, my name is Rachel and I'm here today to do the book haul from my birthday. This is really late because it was my birthday about three weeks ago, but um, I have been very busy because it was my actual birthday and then I started my new job, which is very long hours. <laughs> and then I went and visited my girlfriend last weekend because she'd planned to do something with me for my birthday. So it has been a very, very busy few weeks and that is why this is so late, but I am finally going to a midday. So yeah, um, I'm gonna do this in stages. So I'm gonna do the books I got off my parents, um, the books I got off other people, and then the books that I bought myself with my birthday money. There are some books I'm going to mention in this video that I cannot wait to read, some that I did not wait to read and read immediately when I got them. So yeah, um, I'm really excited to show you them and let's get started. So the first book I got from my parents was Lolita by Vladimir Nabokov. Um, this is a book I've wanted to read for a really, really, really long time because it's such a staple in literature and it's always discussed as a really good book, even though it is supposed to be quite difficult to read in terms of the subject matter, not in terms of how it's written specifically. And I also really want to read it because Lana Del Rey is one of my favourite artists of all time and a lot of her songs pull on this book apparently. And yeah, so I've wanted to read this for a really long time and my parents got it me. It is about Humbert Humbert and he has fallen completely in love with Lolita Hayes who is a 12 year old girl and I think he marries her mum in order to be closer to her. I don't know much more about it but to be honest I don't really want to know. I know it is supposed to be quite difficult because of the, it's obviously got paedophilia as a major subject matter in the text but difficult books usually tend to be some of the most affecting books I find so yeah I think this is going to be a really really good book and then I think my mum got pretty annoyed because I was really specific on the additions that I wanted <laughs> in the list of books that I gave her <coughs> um, and I think that did piss her off a little bit but she still got them so it's fine and um, the first one was Far From the Maddening Crowd by Thomas Hardy now I've only read Test the Devils by Thomas Hardy, which I adored. Really, really, really enjoyed it. So I've always wanted to pick up another Thomas Hardy, but the editions that I've got of Thomas Hardy are all very old editions, very small writing, and I can just never manage to motivate myself to pick them up because I don't like it when the actual writing is difficult to read in a classic because it's you're already finding it very dense and then when it's also hard to read the actual text it's just infuriating. I wanted this one because this is like a really nice text and it's just really pretty it's got little bees on it it's adorable. So yeah I got this one I don't actually know what this one's about um, but again I like to go into books without knowing what they're about so I'm fine with that and it's beautiful. And then in keeping with the Penguin Cloth Bound editions I also got The Picture of Dorian Gray by Oscar Wilde. This is an absolutely beautiful edition. I'm really excited about this. What I know of it, I know from like Penny Dreadful and League of Extraordinary Gentlemen. So I don't really know much. I know there's a mirror, I know there's something to do with him not aging, I know it's very artistic and that's about it for what I know. But I have read the Importance of Being Earnest by Oscar Wilde and I absolutely adored that play. I thought it was going to be really serious but it was actually just hilarious and really fun. So I really liked the way he wrote and I'm thinking that will make this um, a real favourite. So yeah I'm excited for this one. And then the last book that I got from my parents was Saga by Brian K. Vaughan and Fiona Staples. Um, I've wanted to read this for a while but I keep picking up other graphic novels instead and yeah just everyone says it's really really good. It's supposed to be like a science fiction slash fantasy. I don't, I hope I'm gonna like it. I'm not 
completely sold on the art style at the moment but I feel like when I read it it might be that the art style fits in really well with a science fiction-y type story which is what I'm thinking is why it's been chosen but a lot of the art style I prefer is like um, Emily Carroll's. It's not completely up my street but I do want to give it a try and see if I like it so yeah that is the other book that I got off my parents. Then when I went to see my girlfriend what she got me was The Wicked and the Divine by Gillan McKelvey and Wilson Cowles which I'm gonna do a review for after this. I'm gonna do a few graphic novel reviews because I read this straight away on my coach home from London and the book I got off my best friend I read like straight away. So yeah, um, I will be doing a review of this. I gave it three out of five stars and I will explain why later. But basically, it's about these gods that are also pop stars and this girl who kind of gets mixed up in it all. It's hard to explain because I don't think they've actually explained it pretty well, which is something I will touch on in the review. So yeah, I kind of enjoyed it, kind of didn't, and I will let you know why <laughs> later on, but yeah. So I got that one off my girlfriend, and then my best friend got me this because she knows that I love Through the Woods, and she loves graphic novels, she's like did an animation degree and stuff, so like she knows the kind of stuff to buy me, <laughs> basically. And she got me Baba Yaga's Assistant, which is another book well it's illustrated by Emily Carroll and again I read this straight away I think I gave it four out of five stars yeah the art style in this was amazing I just loved it it's about this girl who feels alone feels out of place in her family and she decides she's gonna go and be Baba Yaga's assistant and it's just about the trifles that go along with that that art style is really really beautiful um, so I would definitely recommend this, it's really really good, uh, really cute. And my best friend also made me these Studio Ghibli embroideries, which are adorable and from my favourite um, Studio Ghibli film, My Neighbor Totoro, so she definitely did really really well on getting me presents this year <laughs> and has made it really really difficult to get her presents this year, so that sucks, but yeah. <laughs> so the next lot of books I got were books that I bought myself with my birthday money that I was given. The first one is obviously pretty obvious. It came out the day after my birthday so my parents gave me money in the card to go and get this because they knew how much I wanted it and they couldn't get it for my birthday. So obviously I got Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets, the illustrated edition. Um, if you've watched some early videos you'll know that I read the first illustrated edition a few months ago and adored it. It's, it's just really perfect. Jim K is perfect at illustrating. I mean you don't even have to open it, you just have to look at this front cover and know that it's going to be amazing. But if you do open it and look, which I don't want to because I'm going to give myself spoilers, but when I did buy it I did slightly open it and see some pictures of Dobby that looked absolutely adorable. So I'm really really excited to read this um, and it's always quite a good thing to read around autumn Christmas time because that's when they go back to school and there's always a big Christmassy section in the Harry Potter books. So yeah I'm thinking this is a pretty perfect read uh, for this time of year. Hopefully I'll get around to that. The next book that I got was I Am Malala. Uh, the girl who stood up for education and was shot by the Taliban. This is a book that I've wanted to read for a while anyway um, and also it's a book that is very popular with some of the students at the school that I've just started working at and a lot of them have told me to pick this up and as their librarian I feel like I have to pick it up <laughs> because I have to have read the books they're reading basically. So yeah, it's, kind of, it's basically her story about standing up for educational rights for women and how that affected her life and how she was treated for doing that so yeah it sounds really really good and I've wanted to read it for a while and I finally got it so that is brilliant. Then obviously there's going to be no surprises here because I had to have this book and it was Morningstar by P.S. Brown. 
I've been raving about this book for weeks. Everyone I talk to, I've told to pick up this book. I just, I adore this trilogy. This is the last one in the trilogy, although he has said that he's gonna do another trilogy within this world or setting, which is really, really exciting and really happy about. This is like bigger than all the other books have been, which is exciting. So I really wanna pick it up now and I'm trying to make myself finish the books that I'm reading now instead of picking this up straight away. But it's hard it's it's really really hard so yeah super excited for this if you don't know this is the third one in the red rising trilogy so if you haven't read it please go and pick up red rising by pierce brown and just get started because it's amazing it's a science fiction slash dystopian type series about a society that's split up into colors and uh, people are People have their place in society based on the colours that they belong to and one guy has decided he's going to try and mess with this colour system, basically. I'm not going to say any more than that because I don't want to spoil it, but like, it's, it's amazing. It's really, really good. You should definitely pick this up because it's just, oh, it's just so good. It's so, so good. Yeah. Now I've stopped fangirling over that. We have then got... St. Lucy's Home for Girls Raised by Wolves. This is a short story collection. Just really wanted to read it. Uh, I keep seeing Swamplandia at the library at school. And when I looked it up, I wasn't too sure that I fancied reading it. But when I looked up Karen Russell and read this, I was pretty sure I wanted to read this one. So yeah, I've decided to pick it up. It says it charts loss, love and the difficult art of growing up. These stories infer with wicked humour and insight. Two young boys make midnight trips to a boat graveyard in search of their dead sister who set sail in the exoskeleton of a giant crab. If that doesn't sound weird and appealing, I don't know what does. Um, a boy whose dreams foretell implacable tragedies is sent to a sleepaway camp for disordered dreamers. A minotaur leads his family on the trail out west and finally in this collection's poignant and hilarious title story 15 girls raised by wolves are painstakingly civilised by nuns. Yeah, I don't really have to say that much more. It just sounds really cool and yeah, I'm excited to read it basically. Um, next I got Reader I Married Him which is a short story collection edited by Tracy Chevalier. I got this because a few days ago I went to an event in Manchester hosted by Tracy Chevalier about, well, it was called Reader I Married Him and it was kind of about this collection. Um, also, I forgot then, what's her name? It'd be with an M. Nadifa Mohammed was also there at this event. And basically it's the bicentennial of Jane Eyre this year so that's why they brought the book out and that's what they were doing this event for so they did talk about this a little bit but mainly they talked about Jane Eyre, how Jane Eyre has inspired them, how Jane Eyre translates to the world today, lots of stuff like that. Very very cool, very very enlightening um, and basically I was rereading Jane Eyre for that which I haven't finished, I'm halfway through and this I also haven't finished. So I'm going to finish reading this, finish reading Jane Eyre, and then I am going to do a video on the two of these and talk about what Tracy Chevalier and Nadifa Mohammed and like just talk about what they talked about on the night because I did make notes because it was very, very interesting. So yeah, I'm going to do a video that kind of talks about all of that. So stay tuned for that. But yes, I bought this, which I am quite enjoying. But I think I'm adoring some stories and then some stories I'm like, mm, that's okay. So I think that's why I'm reading it a little bit slower. But the stories that I do like, I'm really, really, really enjoying. So I am definitely going to finish it. So yeah, I got this one. Then I bought Crown of Midnight by Sarah J Maas. Um, I read Throne of Glass last month and really, really enjoyed it. So I had to buy this one. I'm not going to say anything about what's it, what it's about because obviously it's second in the series and I don't want to ruin what happened in the first book for anyone who hasn't read it. But yeah, this is a really, really good series. Really, really kick-ass heroine. And 
it's really awesome you should pick it up just for the covers alone which are really 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 awesome and the last book I picked up was and it's like a it says it's um, a collection of autobiographical essays and it's by one of my favorite women in the world and it's Amy Poehler and it's called Yes Please. Amy Poehler is obviously um, amazing. I basically, I knew who she was because I'd watched Baby Mama ages ago, um, but I properly started loving her when I watched Parts of Recreation, which is one of my favorite shows of all time. And she is just hilarious. So I had to pick this up and I'm just so, I'm so excited to read it because she was so funny. Also, there's another one like this coming out by Anna Kendrick, which she said is like a collection of um, autobiographical essays, which I'm really excited for because I love her as well. So yeah, I like this autobiographical essay idea. Um, I think it's a really good way of doing things. And if you flick through, it's just full of pages of her looking like an idiot, which I'm excited to see all of. So yeah, I bought this one. And I think that is the end of the book haul. I hope you enjoyed it. I enjoyed it because these books all now belong to me, which is awesome and I'm excited for. And yeah, hopefully I will read all these in the foreseeable future and give you reviews of all of them and you can go pick them up and enjoy them too and if you have actually read any of these please tell me down below if you did enjoy them or if there's any that you think I should get to first but make sure there's no spoilers because I can't deal with spoilers I'm just no no don't don't like spoilers so please don't do that and yeah thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next video bye